Miller. Um, it's Casey. This is 25 and 52. I'm at school. Yay! At orientation, we're having a little break, so I have a minute to put the camera in front of me and talk at it. Um, I have an owl on my sweater. I have an owl on my sweater. And my nails look like this. And um, we just had the kind of entrance ritual and it was amazing and I'm really impressed that I didn't cry because um, that is how I do things. I'm really, I'm feeling really excited and really blessed to be here. Um, everybody is wonderful so far and um, it's like all those months of worrying and working to get here are paying off and now I'm here and doing this and it's amazing. Um, so it's orientation for the rest of today and tomorrow and then we have a symposium on Wednesday and Thursday and then classes classes start next week. Um, I don't know what else to say at this particular minute, but I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I got a sand dollar. Looks cool. I also got a key to the school. Also cool. Um, people ask me questions about nail polish already. Yeah, it's my like second day of interacting with these people. They've already asked me about nail polish, so thumbs up. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go do a different thing. And I'll talk at this camera again, maybe at lunchtime. Alright. So, it is lunchtime, and I am outside in the garden at my school. My school has a garden. Um, we met with some of the core faculty earlier and got kind of introduced to some of the people that will be important. And I'm having a really lovely time. Um, and lovely doesn't even begin to cover it, actually. Um, this is great. This is great and perfect and exactly what I want to be doing. I'm nervous still. Um, not in the same way I was. If you'll remember, I talked a lot about, you know, feeling like I was jumping out of a plane. And I, you know, I'm following the parachute is out, so it's all right, but it's still like, wow, I'm way up in the air. That's the metaphor I'm choosing to use for that right now. Um, I had tasty soup and salad for lunch. I have nothing deep or interesting to say at this particular moment. But uh, I'm doing this, and it's cool, and I'm excited, and... I guess I'll tell you more later. Hey, so, um, after other stuff and hours of sitting around talking with my new classmates, I'm finally home. <laughs> um, I got takeout on the way home because I was really hungry. Um, and I'm still in that same place that I was earlier. This is great and I almost can't explain how great it is. Yeah. But um, in thinking about transitions, which I've been doing a lot lately, I noticed something today that I thought was interesting. One of my classmates mentioned that um, her daughter is starting an au pair job somewhere and her other child is starting college maybe or senior year, I don't know. I've forgotten the specifics. But her and her children are all starting a new stage of their life and her husband isn't doing anything particularly new and she said so the only one in my family not undergoing a huge change right now is my husband and I said well 
No, because he's got to deal with having a wife who's in seminary and this, that, and the other thing. And that's not, not a change. Um, and it really just, it all goes back to how interconnected we are for real. Because, yeah, my life changed in big and important ways coming here. But the fact is that my parents' lives changed, um, my friends' lives changed, and I know that that's not like a revelation. I knew that that was true. But I guess I hadn't considered how much you can see us all networked together in that when one thing changes for one person, the whole thing shifts. Um, so I'm feeling happy and blessed in community and with cats, and I'm going to eat some Thai food and go to sleep so I can go back tomorrow and get a student ID card and um, do some other things. I'll meet with my advisor tomorrow, etc., etc. I love you. See you on Thursday.